All right, well, I got my first fish and it's a slob. Wow, wait till you see this fish. And it's a tank, bud. Oh, wait till you see my first fish. What am I doing at Foot Locker? Every spring, I like to do two things, new pair of kicks and perch fishing. Iversons, baby. Hopefully they have my size. Size 10, you got them? Uh, nine. Oh, nine? Yeah. Bows are Iversons, bows all day, but I don't mind the Iversons. I'm a little old for it, but who's to judge? It's my life. Yeah, too tight. Boo! Maybe the pink ones? No Iversons. Harachis, black and white, let's go. That's the original colors. I had my uh, heart set on the Iversons. These Harachis are medium hood. The Iversons were like so good. It was gonna fulfill my hood life crisis that I'm going through. Oh, still here. It's all good. In the hood, life crisis. Oh, those white and red Iversons would have gone so good with this truck pond. See you on the lake. Time to pound some spring perch. Don't think I'm gonna wear these though. Perch milk doesn't go good with black. All right, all right. All right, all right. I am here at Lake Simcoe. It's a beautiful day. You don't see many boats here. It's like noon, a weird time to start, but I got clients all this week, so I gotta give her a go. I gotta dodge some serious icebergs. You gotta drive slow, man. If you see these icebergs like this, just take it easy. You don't wanna hit one of those, and then your day's done, and you won't be finding any perch, but you will be finding a hole in your boat. Minor setback in the grand scheme of things, really. But anyway, let's go. All right, all right. Spot number one. See you in a minute. So Crazy, right, right? We're gonna go through some ice. Hopefully we uh, find some fish through here. No boats here, obviously, but uh, sometimes when you find them yourself, it's good times. Icebergs everywhere, but they're soft. It's got really soft, mushy ice. The sun's hitting it. The wind picks up. It's gonna be a long plow home, a long plow. Right now, looking good. All right, I know you guys hate my tag end, so I'll do it for you. I don't think it's gonna make a difference, but there you go. How's that tag end? Start a little scuffed black panfish. Just to get some bites. Maybe I'll start with the small one. I'm starting in 28 feet. Got away from the ice. Started marking some life and some bumpy stuff on the bottom all of a sudden and some stuff high here. So let's see. Yeah, that could be them really tight. I think that's them on the bottom right there. Oh yeah, you can see them right there. Mint stuff right there on the down image. Really shows you the separation. Or right below us. There's a fish. Yeah, that was them fish on right away and it's a tank oh yeah this is a good one oh just dragging it wow that's on the little black scuff head with the one eighth ounce is it a tank oh nice one oh i dropped them oh boo there's another one how big is it there you go nice little eater well i landed one it is a fish we might have to upsize our bait but i just wanted to get bit first so i start with the little wu-tang with the uv black head one eighth ounce really gets down quick in this 30 feet of water let's go so I started fishing deep. I got a few fish, but moved to some shallower, darker water. It's a bit darker. There's a ferry that comes across right here, kind of stirs up the bottom and makes this water a bit darker. But sometimes those hens like that darker water over their back. They feel a bit more secure, especially after the ice just melts. They're so used to having that ice over their back. That water's a little bit more stained. Big, big thing. All right, well, I got my first fish and it's a slob. Wow, got that on a scuff head. We're gonna spot lock. Wait till you see this fish. And it's a tank, bud. Oh, wait till you see my first fish. Look at that thing. Super tank, bud. Holy cow. And I got that on a UV black scuff head with a Kitek swim bait. Unreal. Let's measure it. That is a 12 and three quarters fish, and it's a super fat. It's just as deep as it is long. Look at that thing. Gonna mark that. Unbelievable. It's kind of working it along, shaking and resting. And I just felt pressure from the bottom, sucked it up. 
Okay guys, when I'm drop shotting for big perch, one of the key things is a short lead. So this is about the max I'll go. That's about five inch. I don't believe those big hens are gonna wanna come off the bottom too far, chase that goby. When you have a short lead, you can imagine when you're dragging that, that's fairly tight to the bottom. See that angle? Five inch or less. Okay, I got a giant here. Another giant. I'm gonna keep this quiet. There's another tank. Bang. Bang oh bang oh bang oh. Nice beautiful fish. Just switched to a drop shot. I'm using a tactical fishing goby. Look at that. I'm using a like smoke purple flake. Fire. Look at that thing. As soon as I switched, bang. Goby baits. Beautiful, beautiful second fish. The water's so cold that it bites not fast and furious here, but they're big. Be bait. This time I went to a scuff head, 16th ounce, to a tactical fishing goby again. That smoke out of a drop shot, and I went to a 16th ounce head. Bang! Mint. We're getting some nice meat. Nice meat. Sweet meat, Pete. Well, shallow has been paying off. Goby baits. Marking fish down there on the live scope. We're sitting in 13.2 feet. All I'm doing is just dragging that scuffed football head and then letting it sag. Got this one on goby bait on the bottom. Hammered it. Small. Saw him on the uh, live scope. I saw them swimming back and forth. They're very skittish. I dropped the bait on a bunch of fish below me right there. And as soon as I dropped down, they just like skedaddled. They were out. So they're like scared of the bait. You definitely, definitely got to make long casts right now. Dead stick. Bang. On the ref. Special thanks to um, Linac for uh, providing me with the battery. I got a uh, 30 amp hour battery in there. I replaced it from the lead acids. Why I've done that is with the pan optics, you need a power source to power the box. With lead acid batteries, that voltage will drop. You might start at like 12.5 and it'll drop to 10. And now you're not getting a, a strong read from your unit. I ran this for, this is my second day so far. So it seems like we might get two days out of the battery and it's still at 13.2 volts. Lights out, you know what I mean? So good. Ooh. Oh my God, I just got a super. Look at that, right down the yap. That is a tank. Let's measure that. This is a tank tank. Look at the size of that. Have you ever seen one that big? Super, super tank. Let's get them on the um, measuring board. Just shy of 14 inch. That's our biggest one of the day. That's a sick fish. Unreal. That bigger bait seems to get less bites, but they're big when they bite it. All I'm doing is casting it out there. I just kind of drag it, pull it down then, and then let it go back to that bow. I got my rod tip up in the air a little bit. So I have a sag, a bow in my line. Biting it on that sag. They don't want it moving. I don't want it sitting there and jiggling. Got the rhythm now. I'm gonna pound them. Yep. You just gotta let it sit there. This is a big fish too. And bang. You're cranking it. I'm on some tanks here, but Oh yeah. Look at this. It looks like a bass. This is unreal. Are you seeing this? It's, it's so big. I'm on some serious serious oh oh my god this might be the biggest i'm resting that huge kai tech finally figured it out i'm looking for all these answers here this is unbelievable wait till you see this that's our biggest i don't know if it's our longest but it's our heaviest for sure this thing is huge she might go two pounds look at this look at this 
Are you seeing this? This is a monster, bud. Monster. Absolute tank. Oh, look at that. How big do you think that is? Look at the size. Doesn't matter how you look at that thing. That thing is a super, super, super beast. It looked like he was dead in the water. Well, Sipser is by four. Okay, let's put that on the measuring board. But that is huge. Just shy of 14. Okay, we'll see go two pounds. It'll be close. That's my biggest one this year, no doubt. Okay, let's weigh her. 195, oh my God, just shy of two. You see in that, 194, just shy of two. That's a tank. I get a ton of bites. Could be because I'm using such a big bait. I'm using uh, UV black in the 1 8th. Four pound test, this is a seven foot three, medium light. There's another one. That one thumped it. This is another tank. Went to that huge bait and a little heavier head. And now they're starting to thump it down there, boy. And they're all, oh, they look like bass. This is insane. They're all so big. These are netters. When they're this big, you net them. Look at the size of this super tank, bud. Beautiful 12 incher. Insane, bro. There's another dead stick in that thing. Ooh, another tank. Here you go. They're choking that. Hybrid head. They're just choking that. I think we're gonna be good tomorrow, my clientele. We're gonna get some good ones. There's another. Big. Ooh, these are huge. Just feel them just sucking. Oh my God, I'm on the sows. Guys, 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 look at the sows that we're on here. These things are so big. We're on the two pound class. These are huge. Oh my God. Look, at, it looks like a carp gut. Huge, they're so fat. Dead sticking. Swim bait. The scuff head is getting these tanks. I think that fat belly, they don't want to come up too often. It's weighing them down so they're just inclined to eat that dead stick, big body bait, feed those eggs, get some energy for that spawn. I'm just being quiet here because I got a little isolated spot of super tanks. They're sucking on it. The live scope really told me those fish were spooky. They are just chewing this now. We've got to figure it out. Okay guys, these are all the baits we caught them on. All these different sizes. We also got them on the Kobe bait. All good, but number one was definitely that four inch. Odd enough. We were definitely eating perch and gobies. It's not like three to four inch range. And that's what we're using. That shape of the bait has been really good. There it is guys, our biggest ones. Super tanks, what a day. Oh, another tank. Hope you like part one. Peace. See you in the morning. This just happened. Boo. Right now, hope seems lost.